Hey, speaking of leading ladies, um, look, we get to do cool stuff generally, but sometimes time, we get to yeah. do extra, extra cool stuff. And recently our cameras got to capture the cast of the brand new latest sci-fi blockbuster called Mortal Engines. Yeah, obviously based on a book, but it gave an opportunity for some young talent to first be featured in film and a young director, Christian Rivers, to make his directorial debut as well. Um, and it looks like he did a fantastic job, but let's find out a little bit more from our zone. You look at her and all you see are the jagged edges. But she is something quite different. She is beautiful and strange. And very, very rare. Christian, welcome to the Expresso Morning Show and congratulations on a wonderful movie, Mortal Engines. Now I need to ask you, what was it like sitting in that director chair knowing that you have Peter Jackson, um, Philippa Boyce, Fran Walsh, all of them in your corner? Um, well, it's two things. One, very terrifying because you don't want to let them down. Um, but also very, um, very fortunate to, just very fortunate to be given that responsibility, um, you know, um, and, and have them in your camp. Yeah, it's very, you felt like you're in very good hands. When they throw you in the deep end, you need a few, you know, life preservers sort of floating around and, and, <laughs> and that's what they were to me. Okay. Well, that's absolutely incredible. I mean, it's it's a tough job bringing a book to life. And I know there are a lot of elements that you need to leave out. But from your perspective, um, do you think that there were anything you could have added to the book, well, to the movie? I mean, first of all, you know, the, the, thankfully, the responsibility wasn't on me. Like, you know, it's the screenwriter's job to actually define which parts of the book they're going to take and which which parts they're going to, you know, going to dismiss. Um, I think my job, in you know, through through the pre-production phase, was was to actually just try and define a new cinematic universe from a design perspective. So the books are very, you know, they're described as very steampunk. You know, Philip has lots of steampunk sort of descriptions, and we kind of knew that we didn't want to rely on that. So we had to forge our own aesthetic for the film, and so. That's kind of what I, I brought to it, was a whole, you know, 25 years of working in design and visual effects and, and sort of working with the, you know, the design teams. That's, that's at the front end. And then the rest of it, hopefully I've, 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 you know, I've helped create a film with Peter and Fran and Philippa that feels like an experience that people would want to go and see a Peter Jackson film for, but also has a slightly different flavour. No, you certainly did, and I mean, it was absolutely incredible. What do you hope audiences will take from Mortal Engines? Um, well, hopefully they'll just, you know, take away a wonderful cinematic experience. I hope they've been on a wild ride that touched them emotionally and, you know, maybe makes them think a little bit about the world we're in and, and, and possibly the sort of the paths we're heading down and whether that's a good thing or not. Um, but, and also hopefully it, they, 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 they come out with such a buzz that they want to tell their friends about it and go see it again. And just on a light-hearted note, where do you think the world will be in 1,700 years from now? Oh, a light-hearted note? <laughs> <laughs> okay, he preloaded that one. Uh, look, uh, ho hopefully we're in a much better place than we are now. You know, that, that's all you can hope for. You can only hope that we're just going to... Each day, we're just going to make the world a, a better place for everyone who, you know, we have to share it with. You look at her, and all you see are the jagged edges. But she is something quite different. She is beautiful and strange. And very, 